So this is the gameplay footage. Well, one of the first ones for the Hyperlite 2 pads. So this is obviously my custom set. And these are in XL. And this footage kind of shows you how they play and everything. This was one of my first skates with these pads. So a few things I couldn't adjust is the toe ties, which actually pulled out. I posted a picture on Instagram of the toe ties actually fell out of the thing and it fell off. But a guy kept scoring on me on here and he kept hitting the camera and the camera would shut off. So by the time it happened at the end of the game, the camera was shut off and not working anymore. So you can't see that, but the toe tie totally blew out on it. And I swapped it for these PGS ones because they're better than what the Bauer ones are and the elastic is longer. The elastic on the stock ones for these is too short. And you can kind of see it here and how much it forces the boot kind of over. And I land on the face at one point because it's too short. There's too much kind of stress with the uh, elastic in my foot. So whenever my toes are kind of digging down, it really pulled the pad down and kind of hurt the seal here as well as on the thigh rise. The looser toe tie definitely fixes that a bit. You can see the thigh rise coming off a bit. And most of the reasoning is because of the strapping on here and that toe tie strap. So I kind of adjusted it and it's a lot better than what it looks in here, but you can see it kind of coming off a little bit here. Uh, with these pads, there's a lot of hype behind them because Bauer has influencers and stuff that talk about their stuff a lot and they put it on there. It's not really worth the hype to be totally honest and it's kind of a mini review, but one thing I don't like what they did with these pads is this boot is so flat now and so skinny as you can see. And like this piece, I can feel my connects on the ice all the time right here. And it's always that side rubbing. So whenever I slide, I can feel it. It's super annoying. annoying. And I, I really don't like that feeling. And I don't like how this pad, like this piece isn't that thin, but just the skate doesn't sit on it. Your skate is so out here, which obviously companies kind of want for more uh, mobility on the foot and everything. It's just when you're down, your skate's always hitting the ice and it's kind of annoying. So you got to lift that up and kind of adjust to it. But it's, it's frustrating to me because it one, it's not that natural, especially with other pads I'm wearing. And I just, I don't love the connect skates to begin with. So it's kind of a double edged sword there. But I mean, that is what it is. You can see how flat that boot is and your skate really just does fit like way under here. And this part doesn't really cover anything anymore. So kind of an annoying piece there. Also for the pads, the strapping on here are kind of annoying in that they're not super adjustable and it's Bauer has gone backwards in strapping constantly since basically the 2X Pro. And like you can't strap that inner strap out here really anymore, it's that inner piece and it's honestly too tight. And this was my first skate with this. So this one was more tight than I would have preferred. So I've loosened it off since then, like by just making everything on the minimum settings and it works a lot better. But when I wore this the last time, I wore it uh, like a few days ago before I'm filling this part. I played against Junior B and Junior A kids on some three on three thing. And I kept falling out of the knee block on the top with this because I didn't do this tight enough. I don't love doing this super tight, but I kept falling out the top when I loosened everything else out. So I kind of had to figure out kind of and manage that. And I also fell out this way too, a couple times with it. So I really have to tighten this one and crank it down. I might have to make this even shorter like I did before and tape it, which is kind of another annoying thing we'll cover in the review but it is uh, something I noticed when using these. Other thing to notice is this isn't the tight in calf. I didn't like that tight in calf on the mocks and I just feel it doesn't like flex with your leg enough. And so I didn't get it on this. Mine is the custom one that doesn't have that because I didn't like that feeling. I felt it kind of got in the way for some movement. So I got rid of that one. So these ones are very custom to me and very, very stiff, which I love the stiffness. So hopefully it's a nice little snippet and preview of these pads. And the guy who scored on me is one of my teammates who actually plays with this set. Obviously this is for the stars. And so he's one of my D men. And so you'll see him coming into playoff games shortly. And he played really solid in the playoffs and he played really good against me here and scored a lot of goals. So core tech, which are core shorts and people have heard of these before they were labeled under under armor before now Bauer sells hockey specific one, but core themselves sell their own line of pants and supportive clothing and apparel. Basically this stuff helps you with growing strains, growing pulls and helps keep your hips tight and everything like that. And speaking of injuries, I kind of pulled a growing playing in the playoffs a few months ago and have had to keep using these core tech shorts to make sure my growing doesn't get worse. When I don't wear them, I can feel and it hurts kind of to walk the next day with these keeps everything nice and tight and keeps everything from stretching out too far and getting injured. So these have been a huge savior for me. Check out the link in the description to their website and use my coupon code that's in there to get a discount and I'll put it on the screen here. It helps support myself and the channel so I can make you content and doing real reviews, but also you get a solid product that I use all the time and basically am needed in order to keep my growing from falling apart. Otherwise, if you want to support the channel without buying anything, check out the links in the description to Patreon and buy me a coffee. Everything through those links always comes back into the channel so I can make more content and doing more reviews.
You're watching HockeyReviews.ca